Our immune system has the job of protecting us against infections. But if you have type 1 diabetes, your immune system mistakenly thinks the cells in your pancreas that make insulin are the enemy and attacks and destroys them. But what if we could stop the immune system attack? That's what new treatments, called immunotherapies, are designed to do. Immunotherapies work to reprogram the immune system. The treatments can block killer immune cells to stop or slow down the destruction of insulin-producing beta cells. We've been at the heart of immunotherapy research for years. Thanks to your incredible support, our funding is helping scientists in the lab develop new immunotherapies. And it's set up a UK-wide network that's testing immunotherapies in clinical trials, so we can find the ones that work and make sure they reach people with type 1 diabetes sooner. Immunotherapies could help people with or at risk of type 1 diabetes at three stages. Stage 1. Scientists can spot people, like Rose, who don't yet have type 1 diabetes, but have a high risk of developing it in the future. They can do this by looking at Rose's genes or seeing if she has signals in her blood, called autoantibodies, which tell us that the immune system has started planning an attack. We could give Rose an immunotherapy to prevent the immune attack in the first place, so she never develops type 1 diabetes, or at least delay it until she's older. Stage 2. Zach has just been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. At this point, the immune system hasn't yet wiped out all of Zach's beta cells. Up to 30% of them could still be alive. We could give an immunotherapy here to stop the immune attack in its tracks and preserve his surviving beta cells. The more beta cells that survive, the more insulin Zach can produce, which can have huge benefits, making blood sugar easier to manage and reducing the risk of diabetes-related complications later in life. Stage 3. Our researchers are working on separate studies to manufacture new beta cells in the lab, so that, in the future, they could be transplanted into someone like Manny, who's been living with type 1 diabetes for decades. Once we can give Manny new beta cells, we then need to protect them from another immune attack. This is where immunotherapy comes in, taking us a step closer to a cure for type 1 diabetes. Immunotherapies would be a major shift in the way we treat type 1 diabetes, tackling its root cause for the first time. And our researchers won't stop until these new treatments are transforming lives. Visit our website to find out more about our immunotherapy research.